yes, that's right. We are back again, feeding our unhealthy addiction to the new Rebel Clash Pokemon booster box. Because for some reason, there is an overwhelming urge to find more. So I think what we're going to do today is open the most amount of cards we've ever opened on this channel in one episode which is quite a remarkable amount and to be honest i'm not going to put a figure on it but just know that it's going to be like a full booster box and whatever we have laying about and we're going to keep on pulling hopefully until we get from what I understand from the other guys is the rare that everybody's searching for and that's Boss's Orders Rainbow. Now instead of it being the usual, you know, golden rares or what have you, it's Boss's Orders Rainbow Rare and I think we can get it, don't you? Yeah, I reckon we can. Now we've got we opened this last time, we only took like eight cards out of it from our last episode, which you saw, may or may not have saw. You either saw that we've got two, three decent pulls in that one. Um, so it's a very good day indeed. Now today, we're just going to go ahead and just get stuck in. Oh, I've still got my energies off to the side here. Um, I'm going to make my life a bit easier today. I'm going to put the energies off to one side because I have to go through all of these after... Uh, put them all in order and file them away. Now we've got Greedent for the reverse, which we haven't saw yet, and then Oofazant for the rare. And put that. Oof, I haven't made a space for my rares or shinies, so they over there. Now white and green, first white and green of the day. Let's see what this is going to be. Now I did debate on saying. In the first instance was we'll continue opening packets until we find our first rainbow or full art but i thought it could be quite easily go through the remainder of the five or six booster boxes now shut up for one moment because we're going to reveal the first rare of today and it is it was at this moment that he knew he was about to squeal, but decided to burst a blood vessel yeah. instead. <laughs> Guys, look at that second pack again. This, I'm not. I swear. I'm, this is not planned. This is not planned in no way, shape, or form. We have just pulled Toxtricity, the mascot for Rebel Clash, in its full art V form. Now this is 182 out of 192 and good job I didn't say I will continue until we pull a full art or a, a rare or rainbow because it would have been over. Look how beautiful that is. My gosh. Straight off the bat. Happy days. Absolutely lovely. Let's keep this momentum going. That's two full arts in this booster box. Because we pulled Milo full art in the last one two full arts and in the full booster box and uh, opening we only got was it one or was it two full arts not entirely sure that is absolute madness toxtricity v full art i mean, i thought the, the the full arts were only reserved uh, for the um the v max forms tall scrapper garbador for the rare but yeah <laughs> What a, what a brilliant day already. See that? Today, is this a good omen or is this a bad omen? We don't know. I mean, I'm going to go through these a bit quicker than I, we usually would do. I know it's only just came out. We are just on the search for the rares. If you want to go through the, you know, arts where we have a little chat about them, go back to episode one, chat up for the reverse and Al for me for the rare. Go back to the first episode of Rebel Clash, the release, where we do take a bit more time of looking at each card as it comes out and having a little dig or a poke or a laugh at some of the art. Um, 
today we just we just on the rare we're on the shiny hunt we're on the rare hunt let's see what else we get I mean unless I find a, a card I haven't actually pulled yet you know I'll take a moment just have a little chat about it Pelipa reverse and Caesar for the rare you know we'll have a chat we'll have a talk we'll we'll see what's what but for some reason this set in particular has got me hooked more than actually sword and shield has i just crave more I mean, maybe it's because i got more to open but for some reason i really want to have a look and see if we can find some of the uh the, the heavy hitters we took it a bit conservative last time but i know you guys enjoy pulling the reverse and duraludon duraludon for the rare absolute legend we pulled him as you guys know uh for the promo but now we've got the actual first appearance of Duraladon in all his hollow glory so yeah what was the saying i don't know pulling cards and talking rubbish as usual so yeah maybe it'll come back to me in a minute what we was talking about I just got threw off by Duraladon. I almost was talking over what the, what I was doing and even completely forgot about the fact that we just pulled the white and green and we take it slow and see what we get. Hat and a shuffle for the reverse and probal pass for the rare. Nice. So, yeah, we just continue. We have plenty and plenty to go through. Um, what I probably will do, although I said we're going through the no no we'll persevere we'll go through the lot we'll go through all the cards i may regret it later because i may run out of things to say maybe you'll get sick of me talking but we'll continue until we pull uh, a golden rare and if we've opened a nice amount until that point um we may leave it there we may not we'll just see how how we are for time in terms of the video car shovel for the Reverse and for the rare we have SQV. Second time we saw this blockhead. Yeah, blockhead. Yeah, SQ with his brain freeze. I mean, I'd be pretty uh, annoyed if I had brain freeze as well. But here we are. We have Pokemon cards flying all over the place here. Bear with me a second, guys. Right, another green. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's turn around. Right, to Capture Energy Chat off. Litwick, Lotad. Voltorb, Growler. Applin. One of its various forms. I mean, two appearances of art, I mean. And for the rare, we got nine tails. We are looking for Flapple, which I did think think initially that Applin evolves into Flapple then goes into Appleton but it's not the case it seems like it either goes into Flapple white and green good it either goes into Flapple or Appleton one of the two now we've pulled Fla uh, Appleton we are on the search for the um oh, what's it called Flapple there we are so this was a white and green let's see what we get in this one drum roll <laughs> Larry and me out for the reverse and for the red. Happy, 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 happy. There's golden card. Look at that. Twin energy golden. Oh my gosh. Now this, I mean, we thought the first booster box was great, but this second booster box, two full arts, one Milo. And the other one was, oh, I can't think, I can't think, Twin Energy Golden Rare card. Now, thank you very much. Absolutely, oh my gosh. This is madness. Who was the first, we pulled Toxtricity, of course, Full Art. Now that's two Full Arts and a Golden Rare from the same booster box. Are you sure? Are you for real, mate? <laughs> what is left? In here, these pulls are just getting ridiculous. Absolutely. Oh gosh. I'll tell you what, if, oh, I'm gonna put 
a speed up on this because I phalanx hello nice to see ya I'll put a speed up on this because going through the next load of packets Trevenant for the reverse and Greedum for the rare having pulled probably the only full arts and what have you in this set in this box I mean you know it's going to be quite boring listening to me and I'll stop and I'll slow down if I pull something you haven't saw yet that we can appreciate or of course we got you know another full art or a V card or something you know but ah flackle there we are just as we was talking about you sir worm turned apple turned flackle for the reverse and barrel for the rare yeah I don't know maybe I should maybe I shouldn't uh, speed up it depends on the length of the video that's what it is because one thing I do know for sure is that you guys don't stick around for the whole duration judging by the statistics to get the analytics you know you probably jump about Hilarion Berserker you know I do it myself so I like to rare that's what's the nature of the beast, huh? And you just want to see the good stuff. You only hear some British punk talking over the video and going through the cards and getting over excited and, you know, biting his finger and doing all sorts of squealing like a little girl. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Full heel for the reverse. And for the rare, we are going to pull. Galarian Cosola. Now this is the one I was talking to you guys about. We've got Corsola, which is the poor. Oh, oh my God! Feel bad for me. I'm so bleached on the bottom of the sea. Now that has seems like it's passed away, and we've got Cursola here. And uh, that is coming from a place where. We're not going to get into, we're not humanitarians, we're not somebody who's advocating for the environment, we're just opening Pokemon cards. Now you can see the inspiration behind Core Solar and Curse Solar, you know, that's obviously where they're, they're, they're doing their bit for awareness, which I can fully appreciate, but I'm not here to do this, I'm here to open cards and share the experience with you guys you know for the last few videos um i've put up um it's gathered it's garnered quite a, a lot more traffic than the others ah talk of the devil there you are and oh look at that that was a slate of hand did you see that i pulled the rare from there yeah anyway but it's free rare that one which i can't pronounce for the reverse but yeah we've garnered a bit more and it's probably because uh, Rebel Clash is the new release so it makes sense doing more videos for you guys because this is what you want to see and I can just tell that just from looking you know at the stats and the views even some of the other videos that I put up um, Heliolisk for the reverse and Screw Tune for the rare are not as popular now it could be many things maybe production value maybe it's just not interesting I don't know but I'm just guessing it's the, you know, the what's it's died off, the buzz around Sword and Shield. Now with Rebel Clash being the latest ones and some of the badass cards that these include, you know, that's what you're here to see. So, Milkery for the reverse and for the rare we got ourselves a Copperage V, yes. Now we got VMAX Copperage in uh, the last video, so this is gonna go nice next to his big big ugly brother oops sorry about that copperage but yeah let's take a bit of closer look at that art right. he's taking a swipe looking very he looks like in a very bad mood this one well he looks like he's just woken up and he's giving somebody a backhander with his trunk <laughs> yeah adamantine press 220 HP. That means the V Max is going to be 320 thereabouts. Right. Next pack. So, I mean, what we have pulled in the last two videos has been quite remarkable in terms of 
cards of course these are the first time we've saw the cards so it makes it that little bit more special but in the grander scheme of things realistically colossal for the reverse which we did see him in his hollow variant last time and oh seismitoad we haven't saw seismitoad yet so looking all yeah what's that backhander ish to somebody else but yeah you know we what was I saying again forgotten I don't know I always just shut up and get on with opening the cards oh look at that white and greens the pull rates on these just seem quite remarkable oh yeah but yeah we're spending a bit more time uh, appreciating what we've pulled but the last two episodes have just been remarkable it's been quite remarkable in terms of what we've pulled. Tuxel, size me toad. Good to see you again. We just saw your other brother. And now you're all blinged up. And for the rare, we've got ourselves Flapple. Yes. Now we've got the Flapple reverse. And there's the Flapple as a hollow. Now, it's a rare, of course. For, you know, it's a hollow rare. Um, and it is a stage two Pokemon because... It's either Appleton or Flapple, so rightly so. It is a, a hollow. And it's looking nice. As I've said in the previous videos, when we was going back to Sword and Shield, I'm not really a fan of their design choice with the hollows, with just the parallel lines that go down vertically. It just looks a bit too basic. I'm quite a fan of the, um, you know, the fractal design that we see in the promos uh, and stuff like that, which is a shame, really. Looks the old for the reverse. Toxtricity making his appearance as a standard card, as a rare, but non hollow. Well, that's f unfortunate. We we just saw his big brother, the V, so we're happy with that anyway. But yeah. I like the fractals. I like how the fractal design comes across. It looks very nice. And same as the uh, the Bob Ross, the blah, 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 blah. splash look. Cue the skip. Now, let's grab our trusty two inch brush here. Whack that off real good. Yeah, like that. But honestly, it is what it is. We sharp man. As you saw there was another white and green. So in the first booster box we opened, we got ourselves so phalanx for the reverse and for the rare we got ourselves. One day. One day some of the kids from the neighborhood open Pokemon cards. You know why? It was out of respect. Oh my god! Dude, I, I mean seriously, what is going on with this box? We've pulled Milo, we've pulled Toxtricity, Fuller, we've pulled Rainbow Rare, Toxtricity, oh VMAX. This, genuinely, this is not a fix. This genuinely is, out of all the booster boxes we have done, the best, the best we've done in terms of pulls i can tell you straight off the top of my head in the first booster box that we pull for rebel clash we got Five. seven hollows we got four v's we got um one rainbow rare sonia and then we got one full art now in this one don't know about the hollows we pull one rainbow rare we've pulled three no two full arts and one golden would can you believe our luck Wow, look at that. Absolute. I'm astonished. And. Oh my gosh. Guys. You know what? I think. I know I said we're going to go through both. I know I said it. You know, we're on 19 minutes now. By the time I've edited it, it's going to be a bit more. A bit less, of course. But. If we don't finish on a high, I will continue so we finish on a high, but I honestly think that's enough. That is enough. We need to savor the moment for another day where we can pull some more epic cards because 
Oh. I'm not treating the mean to keep it clean. Honestly, I'm telling you. It's just been, it's been too epic. It's been great. I mean, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. Oh, that's the word of the day today. We said that yesterday. Flabbergasted, but honestly, there's Hunnage. Reverse. Oh, Mr. Rhyme, rare. But I'm, I'm genuinely astonished for what this box has contained. I think the next episode is going to be another full booster box. We've got a few goodies arriving on Friday. So we've got a few things left over, like blister packs to open, as well as the figurine. Oh my gosh, this Rebel Clash is truly the best so far. In Triumph Sword and Shield for the pulls. I mean, the last two episodes I've put on there, oh, this one's great, this one's brilliant. This one, this today, has just been... It's going to take me a while to edit the video and put in all the little sound effects and stuff because I'm telling you now, the fanfare is coming out. It's coming out strong. Milo for the reverse. Eggy Slash for the rare. You know, oh gosh. Guys, what have we got in these last five packs? <laughs> there surely there cannot be another... Can there, can there be? I don't know. This is just completely trashed anything and everything that we know about polls. In my opinion, it has anyway, because this has been an exceptional day in terms of polls. And we started this box yesterday, and that's because we wasn't happy with what we pulled from the blister packs, and we opened the theme deck and the Copperaja, which the Copperaja uh, Elite Trainer box did deliver. Now. This was a white and green. I'm going to pop this off to the side here, just like I did in the last episode. We've got three packets left. I want to finish on a high. So that was a white and green, so it's guaranteed a shiny in some form. <laughs> this is oh, this is my this is a white and green as well. Um, let's just open all four of these. Let's see what we got. Let's let's take out the trash. The name of the video before last. Taking out the trash. Let's see what we pull. Let's see what we get. Milo, Shuckle, Luxio, Bronze, or Skull, Mr. Mime, Nugget for the reverse, and Barbacol for the rare. Now, final pack, we've got two white and greens just sitting here off to the side, and we're gonna see something shiny. Oh, this has just been. Guys, I really, really, really don't know. I really don't know what to say. I need to go back and count how many white and greens we've got in this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do something a bit different now. I'm going to take one, two, three, four to the front, the rear off to the side. So I'll pop these together. Watch out the way, Rillaboom theme deck. I'll keep track of these. So there's the rear. You're gonna do one, two, three, four to the front, rear off to the side. Now we're gonna do one, two, three, four to the front, rear off to the side. Now, the last three packets, their rares are here. Now we'll go through here quickly in case it's something we haven't saw before. And we'll have a little game to finish on. Ooh, Dragapult for the reverse. Look at that. Now, I'm sure that features as a hollow in this set because there is a space in the folder where you got Dragapult V and um, Draclo. So this will go in there as a reverse, may turn up as a shiny. We will see. Galarian Farfetch'd. Grim Snarl for the rare. Now, I've obviously miscounted these cards, so I apologize. But there's Grimmsnarl. Our first look at Grimmsnarl. He evolves from Morgram, which is like the Imp Pokemon. The invaders of the colorful forest. Now, that's a, that is a nice card. I'm happy with that one. Oh, I hope I haven't messed up with the rest. Making me look silly now. So, one of these isn't a, a rare. 
All right, so. Impidim, Magma, Phantom for the reverse. So one of these isn't a rare. Now, an old school rhyme. Ipidipidation, my operation, how many people in the station? One, whoever lands on number one will surely be it, one. Now, let's have a look. Roly Coley, so we've picked out the false rare, the red herring. We have two. Do we do a double reveal? No. We'll go with this. Let's see what we got. Gyarados. There's Gyarados for the hollow. Now we've already saw him. Now for the final card. The final card of today's episode. And I am sorry for breaking my promise of going through as much as we have, but it has been a brilliant episode. You know, we're out for 25 minutes, but here it is. The last card for today. And it is the one and only Melotic V. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. What a day. What a day for pulls, guys. I'm telling you. We've got a full booster box here. This, I promise, will be open in our next episode. Uh, I'm just speechless. I'm still genuinely speechless for the pulls. I'm going to stick the recap, of course, at the end for the guys who want to see the recap. I do appreciate your time. As always, please like, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon if you want to see our next episode where we open this. And whatever goodies we get on Friday with the figurine box is going to be... If anything, if the last three episodes are anything to go by, it seems to be getting better and better. Touch wood. We will do better. Thank you. See y'all later. What a remarkable episode, huh? <laughs> you gotta admit. I know I broke my promise by saying that I'd open uh, another full booster box, but it felt right leaving it where we did. Now, of course the reason being is that we had so many epic pulls. Uh, I need to save some for more episodes. You, come on, you gotta understand. Now, if the next box, which is just sitting here off to my left, is anything to go by, you know, on this one. <sighs> Boy, we've got we've got a treat. We've got treats galore. Now, here's your recap, as promised. Now, there's Eskew with his frozen shoulder, Gyarados, Hollow. So we got. Let me put these in order, um, and I can tell you exactly what we pulled. Bear with me a moment. Great success. Right. So now they're all in order. So Flapple. So. Oh, this is a good looking Pokemon. Very unique. Then we've got Duraludon, which of course we did see this art as a promo, which they should, real, in my opinion, have a different art for the promos, but there you are. Grim Snarl, which is the first time we've saw Grim Snarl in this, ep well, in this series. Uh, Galarian Cursola. Now this one's got some nice looking art on that one. I mean, it looks very mystical, like he's on the astral plane. Just probably the uh, the point of it. Perish body. <sighs> yeah. Gyarados, which I know we've already saw. Copperage V. Now we've got the VMAX. Um, I'm not sure it was in this box. But there was certainly, we got the VMAX uh, Copperage. And there's the V version. A skew which we already just saw. Milotic V. Now Milotic or Milotic was a dragon type Pokemon. Um, was he a dragon? It looks like a dragon type. Come uh, evolves from Feebas. Don't know if Feebas features in this um, in Rebel Clash, but who knows? But there we are. Look at that. That's one of the highlights. Well, the highlight in my opinion because it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that art. Looks like he's got the uh, electricity pylon insulators, the ceramic uh, plates that you get on the telephone pylons. I mean, the electric pylons while over here in the UK. I dare say it's probably the same elsewhere. The Twin Energy, Golden Rare. Look at that. Another beautiful looking card. Now, there is Frostmoth. And there's another golden card. I mean, there's several golden cards, but um, there is Pokemon, just like Zashan. 
and Zamazenta in Sword and Shield, but there's Toxtricity TV in all its full art glory as well. Now I was quite surprised this featuring as a full art. It's probably because it is the mascot for um, well, they're, they're the poster boy, if you like, for Rebel Clash Toxtricity, but V's don't typically appear as uh, full arts, but this one certainly did. We was very happy. So yeah, um, looking back, we got less V's from what I can see. I mean, well, not by much. We got one less. Maybe we pulled it in the, the extras that we pulled in the last episode that I put out. Maybe not, but there's about three or four, let's say, which is uh, pretty much in line. These are exceptional because we got, no, we got four full arts because we got Milo from this box as well. So we got Milo full art and then we got these three as well, which is just absolutely extraordinary. Absolutely fantastic. And then just a standard five hollows. We got seven in the original uh, first unboxing of Rebel Clash so yeah let me know what you guys think I mean is this just a fluke or how you guys been getting along with your pulls just let me know in the comments you know as always thank you very much thank you for your time I hope you enjoy this content look forward to the next one because it's not far away see ya talking about guys how could I forget we got Inteleon VMAX that was our ending Swan Beauty that appeared in the last episode that came out of this box as well Absolutely brilliant. This unboxing has just been epic. Oh my gosh <laughs>
Ten. 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 Ten.